are you? Um, it's a bit rainy and horrible out here today, so I hope it's much nicer wherever you are in the world. So today what I wanted to do is um, give you a really, really quick tip on how to check if your posture is correct. So if you know anything about me, I am always on about how your posture can affect your diastasis. So if you hunch, you're putting so much pressure on your abdominal wall, which is meaning that you're putting pressure on the gap that you have there, and you're not helping to repair. So you need to fix your posture as well as um, engage all your muscles and your traverse abdominis. So if you've gone to my website, you'll see that I have a beginner program and an intermediate program that is free for you to download at any time. In fact, there's a link just above on my um, Facebook page to that. But I'm really on to you about your posture. So the first one we're going to look at is actually about hunching. So there's two problems with posture. So one is um, kyphosis which is when people hunch and you get that rounding of the back there and the other is lordosis so which is when people have that sway back and this pushes their belly out so both are problems and I'm currently actually studying at the National Institute for Posture um, in order to get a qualification to help teach you all about this and how it impacts on you so this is a really really quick tip um, one for the lordosis, so if you're like this, you've probably heard this tip quite a bit, and that's like, just look down and see if you can see your toes. Can you see your toes? If you can't, you know, you need to adjust. Now, as great a tip as that is, <laughs> I don't know about you, but when I was pregnant, there was no way I was going to see my toes, ever. And when my belly is out from the diastasis, I... I couldn't see my toes then either, to be fair. Um, so it's not, it's a great tip for just thinking about it and making sure you're in line, but if that tip makes you do this, it's not really helpful. <laughs> so what I'm going to teach you is about your shoulders and hunching, because hunching is what puts the most pressure on your abdominal wall. So you don't want to do this, okay? So you can see what happens. I've hunched forward. I put pressure on my abdominal wall, it's going to cause problems with their diastasis. Bring my shoulders back, stand upright, nice and flat. I can now engage everything and work to pulling my muscles in. So how do you know whether you're hunching? Great question, and that's what this tip's all about. So I want you to look at me front, foot, front on. So. What we've got here is when you're standing properly and you're nice and relaxed, what can you see? You can see that my arms are beside my sides here, my palms are facing it. Okay? Now look what happens to my arms and my hands when I start hunching. Okay? Can you see that? So from here, nice alignment to hunching. Your arms come in, right? Your chest sinks and your arms come in like this. Now, notice my hands. Good posture. If you're relaxed, your hands, your palms are facing your sides. Hunched, your arms come forward and your palms start facing the back. So that's your tip for today. When you're standing in line or just hanging about, check, where are my arms? Are my hands, my arms to my sides and are my hands, got my palms facing me? Or am I like this? Because if your arms are forward and your palms are facing backwards, you're probably hunching. If you're hunching, you're probably putting pressure on your abdominal wall. Okay, so remember, shoulders back, hands to the side. If you find this hard, here's a really great and quick tip that you can do, a bit of an exercise. I suggest um, sitting, but I can't whilst I'm videoing. But here, 
I'm gonna do a wall squat at the same time because that's great to engage and squeeze everything. So I'm gonna sit in my wall squat. And I'm gonna bring my arms up, okay? And you wanna to work to try and get your hands coming back to the wall and your elbows against the wall. And once you can do that, then start working on bringing your hands up and down. And this is going to work to open up your chest. If, however, you've got a bit of a sway back going on, check out my website because I have um, given another video on how to stretch out your hip flexors because those are really important in your posture as well. So I really hope that this helped. And if it did, please share um, and comment below. Um, great. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. Bye.